The Great Gildersleeve. A special rebroadcast for all you soldiers, sailors, and Marines of the United Nations. Listen to another amazing episode in the life of the great Gildersleeve. Now, let's see what the great Gildersleeve is up to. Last week, you remember, he volunteered to help Judge Hooker press his suit with the dancing teacher, Miss Dolores Del Rey. And uh, when we left him, he was really putting his heart into it. Now it seems, not content with helping the judge, he wants to help Miss Del Rey, proving that in Summerfield, at least, knighthood is still in flower. Judge, have a cigar. Don't care if I do. Gildy, I'd like to take this opportunity of thanking you again for your efforts in my behalf with Miss Del Rey, or Dolores, as I now feel privileged to call her. Well, it was a pleasure, Horace, a pleasure. Always happy to oblige. You found her more receptive, I trust, since I called on her. She's taken to calling me Horacito. <laughs> <laughs> well, Horacito. Yeah, Horacito. <laughs> what does that mean, Gildy? <laughs> Horacito? It's a term of endearment. I know. It means little jackass. <laughs> <laughs> I trust you're jesting. Well, actually, it means little Horace. Same thing, though. <laughs> Doc Morton, if you just got me over here to insult me. Now keep your rompers on, Judge. After all, we both have the same thing at heart. What's that? To give Miss Del Rey a helping hand. Look, Gildy, I asked you to break the ice for me with this young lady. You did so. Thank you very much. Now I'll take over from there. Horace, is that any attitude? That little girl's got a hard row to hoe, Judge. And uh, if we can help her with the hoeing, well, it's not easy to come into a strange town and get a dancing school started, you know. I've been thinking about that, Gildy. If we could arrange somehow for her to meet a select group of the more prominent people in Summerfield... That's easy. We'll throw a reception. I don't think this reception should be thrown exactly, Gildy. Uh -huh. We must keep it high tone. Well, of course. The important thing is to see that it's socially knee plus ultra. Knee plus... Because if she can get the society people, the others will follow. Judge, I'll be only too happy to give such a reception right here. What's the matter with my house? Everything. In the first place, you haven't got a cook. Well, that's so... But I get half the credit, remember? Naturally, and half the bills, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, now who will we invite now? Mrs. Pettibone, of course. Oh, sure, and Eve Goodwin. She's artistic and all that. Let's each make up a list, Judge. You invite some, and I'll invite the others. I know. Leela Ransom. She has all those high-toned Southern relatives. Well, now, Leela might take a little handling. Oh, nonsense. Leela loves parties. But a party given for another woman? Oh, no, Judge. This is going to take finesse. You better leave Leela to me. <laughs> Bye, George. Well, this is good cake, Leela. I'm glad I dropped in to see you. <laughs> Just on a can of the cake, Throckmorton. Mm, Leela, how can you say that? <laughs> What's cake to me? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes I wish you'd look at me like you look at a chocolate cake. <laughs> I'd rather look at you any time, Leela. <laughs> Did you have any special reason you wanted to see me? No, no. No reason. Just wanted to. And, um, Leela, mm -hmm. did you ever think of trying to improve your dancing? Well, that's a strange question for you to ask anyone, Throckmorton. Well, I didn't mean it that way, Leela. I've always been considered very light on my feet. Oh, certainly. Light as a feather. I just wondered if you'd, uh, uh, let it go. Let it go. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, why don't you eat that other piece of cake, Leela? Why don't you? Well, I uh, wouldn't want to see it go to waste. Mmm, -hmm. -hmm, mighty good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you like it. Uh, by the way, Leela, and Judge Hooker and I are giving a party this Saturday. A party? How exciting. You and Horace? Uh-huh. Will you come, Leela? Oh, of course I'll come. Uh, how do you and Horace happen to be giving it together? Well, the guest of honor is a, a, a friend of his. Well, then why doesn't Horace give it? Uh, this person is sort of a friend of mine, too. Uh, who's the guest of honor, Throckmorton? <laughs> Miss Dolores Del Rey. I don't believe I know Miss Del Rey. Well, no, she's new here. She's a lady that's opening the dancing school there on State Street next to the... I think you like her, Leela. Uh, is she the person you expect to improve my dancing? Uh, oh, I... 
I was only joking about that. She'll probably improve mine. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, Throckmorton. I'm afraid I can't come after all. Uh, Leela, you've got to come. Everybody will be there. Who, Fenston? Well, as a matter of fact, you're the first one I've asked. Uh, except the Pettibones. Are they coming? Uh, no, they have an engagement. Mm, so have I. But you said you'd come. It happens that I loathe business parties, Throckmorton. This isn't business, Leela. This is strictly personal. Oh! Oh. <laughs> I mean, oh, I don't know what I mean. I think I know, Throckmorton, and I must beg to be excused. Oh, for... Confounded, Leela, the trouble with you is you're a snob. I told you I have an engagement. Well, I don't believe it any more than I believe the Pettibones. Well, Eve Goodwin is no snob. She's a teacher herself. She'll know how it is. Well, hello, Throckmorton. Come in. Uh, thanks, Eve. I can't stay but a minute. You're a lucky man. I just baked a cake. You did? Uh, well, that's fine, Eve. I'm not very <laughs> hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Eve, you're interested in education, aren't you? <laughs> well, as a school teacher, I have what you might call an academic interest in it. Good. Now, if you knew of a worthy educational institution that was trying to get started, you'd support it, wouldn't you? I suppose so. Great. Will you come to a party in honor of the lady that's starting a new dancing school next to Beckman's drugstore? <laughs> Well, really, from the build-up, I thought you were going to ask me to be president of a college. Yeah. This is serious, Eve. This young lady, her name is Dolores Del Rey, she's trying to start this worthy enterprise, and Judge Hooker and I want to help her meet the right people. I see. <laughs> You'll come, won't you, Eve? I mean, with your interest in education and all that. I'm afraid I'm not interested in education in quite the same way you and Judge Hooker are. Uh, what do you mean? <laughs> well, I passed Miss Del Rey's establishment yesterday. It has a sign in the window that says, um, Men, be popular. Learn the tango and rumba from a real senorita. And her picture. Now, Eve, she has to make a living. <laughs> You'll come, won't you? I'm sorry, Throckmorton. I have an engagement. What's the matter with this town, anyway? I don't understand some women. I don't understand any women. Just because the girl's been on the stage, just because she's good-looking, well, the PBs may not be society exactly, but at least they're home folks. Wonder if they've gone to bed. Still, there's a light. Hello, PV. Mr. Gildersleeve. Well, this is an unexpected pleasure. Oh? Hey, come in. Well, uh, just for a minute. I hope you weren't on your way to bed. No. As a matter of fact, Mrs. PV retired a few minutes ago, but I usually sit up for a final word from Raymond Graham Swain. Uh, take your coat off? Uh, no, thanks. I can't stay. Just dropped in to tender you an invitation. You and Mrs. PV. Oh, no, that's real nice. I'm sure that Miss Peavy and I will be only too happy to... It's Saturday night, Peavy, 9 o'clock. The judge and I are giving a reception for a friend of ours, Miss Del Rey. Miss Del... Oh, isn't that the young lady you were telling us about at the poker party the other night? Uh, well, it's the same girl, but uh, I found upon closer acquaintance that I misjudged her, Peavy. Uh, Floyd Munson tells me she's a dancer. Don't pay any attention to anything Floyd tells you. Uh, she does dance, however. That is, she teaches dancing. Do you think she'll do her dance Saturday night? I don't know what kind of dancing you're thinking of, Peavy, but I assure you she's very high class. The uh, tango and so on. All very artistic. Speaking of artistic dances, I, I recall the time I took Mrs. Peavy to the World's Fair in Chicago. <laughs> this is nothing like the World's Fair. The old girl never got over it, see? <laughs> She claims to this day that I took her in there on purpose. <laughs> I did, too. Well, well, very amusing. Uh, uh, we can count on you then for tomorrow night? Well, speaking for myself, Mr. Josephine, I wouldn't miss it. But perhaps I'd better just run upstairs and check with Mrs. Davy first. Come in, sit down. I won't be with a minute. Well, I see you have a canary. Yes, it's a new one. The other one passed on. I guess you heard it. It was very sad. Uh-oh. <laughs> Too bad. Perhaps it was all for the best. This one's named Dickie Bird. Mrs. Peavy handed him after me. Looks a little like you, too, Peavy. 
You're always dashing, Mr. Gildersleeve. Cute little rascal, isn't he? Uh, does he sing? Oh, he sings beautifully. Uh, so they tell me. He hasn't sung a note since we got him. <laughs> Mrs. Peavy thinks his diet is wrong. Diet, oh. Hmm. Hello there, Dickie. This is Mr. Gildersleeve, Dickie. Aren't you going to sing for him? Come on, Dickie. Let's hear you sing. Tweet, tweet. You see, wrong diet. <laughs> well, you entertain Mr. Gildersleeve, Dickie, while I run upstairs and speak to Mrs. Peavy. Won't be a minute. I make it a point never to accept an invitation without checking with her first and save arguments later. Tell her it's formal, Peavy. Hi there, Dickie. Let's hear you sing. Come on. Tweet, 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 tweet. You won't sing, huh? <laughs> I don't know why I should sing. Listen, you heard me sing. All right, don't sing. Come on, Dickie, sing for your old Uncle Morris. Witchy, 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 witchy. Come on, hop up on my finger. Come on. Ow! Bite me, will you? I'll break every bone in your little yellow body. Yeah, making friends, Mr. Gildersleeve? Friends? This darn bird of yours just bit me. Bit you? Yes, bit me. No, I know his diet's wrong. What he needs is me. <laughs> That's a dangerous bird, Petey. You shouldn't have him around. I've never known him to attack anyone before. Uh, get you some iodine? No, I'll just suck it. Uh, I've got to be going, Petey. million things to do. I'll be seeing you in the missus Saturday night then at nine. Oh, uh, Mr. Gildersleeve, about that... Yeah? I, I'm afraid perhaps you'd better not count on us for Saturday night. No, why not? Well, it seems that... Uh, I mean, you see... Well, the fact is, it seems we have an unexpected engagement. All right, Petey. Don't come if you don't want to. But I'd just like to say this. Of all the liars I've ever met, you're the poorest. Well, no, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> oh, good night. Shucks, I don't like doing that to Mr. Gildersleeve. I, I don't feel right about it. I don't like telling fibs anyway. Richard! Oh, all right, woman, all right. Good gracious to Betsy. Sometimes I get... Oh, shut up. Hey, tell the slave will be with us again in just a few seconds. <laughs>
let's get back to our friend, the great Gildersleeve. It's Saturday morning, and though it's early, Gildersleeve has already been busy for some time in preparation for tonight's party. We find him now checking over the invitation list with Judge Hooker. Well, how many people did you get, Judge? How many did you get? I asked you first. Well, the list itself didn't turn out too favorably. Apparently, there are a number of social events taking place this evening. Yeah, how many of your people are coming? None of them. None of them? You're a fine one to give a party with, Hooker. Well, doggone it, how many of your list are coming? None, but mine all had good reasons. <laughs> so did mine. Yeah. Besides, I went ahead and invited someone else. So did I. Wait till you hear who I got. Just the most important woman in this town, that's all. Oh, who is she? A woman that can make or break this dancing school with her little finger. Come on, who? Mrs. Harlow Vandervoort. She's president of the Summerfield Choral Society, the Summerfield Friends of Chamber Music, and just about everything artistic in town. You don't have to tell me. And she's rich as a fool, Gildy. If she okays this dancing school, believe me, it's okay. Well, that part sounds good. Now, who'd you get, Gildy? Uh, Floyd Munson and his wife. What? Floyd Munson, the barber? What's the matter with being a barber? Barbering is an honorable profession. Profession has nothing to do with it. I won't have Floyd Munson at this party. Why not? Floyd's a good fellow? Yes, and I dare say his wife is all right, too. But the object of this party was to present Miss Del Rey to the cream of Summerfield society. And the Munsons are not the cream. Well, doggone it, Horace. We had to get somebody. Yeah, I don't suppose you can tell Floyd not to come now. Could you ask him, please, to watch his step? Well, don't worry about him, Judge. Now, about Miss Del Rey, if she'd like me to call for That's her... That's all been arranged. I'm taking care of that personally. Oh, pretty slick, aren't you? I'm learning. <laughs> well, I've got to be running along now, old man. See you this evening. Adios, Horacito. Buenos dias, amigo. Oh, where'd you learn that? <laughs> Get away from them olives. That's for the guests. But I'm starving, Bertie. You can't be starving, my boy. You've just had dinner. Uh-oh, I got a customer. Is my cap on straight, Mr. Gillsleeve? Looks fine, Bertie. Well, it won't stay. It's gonna fall in the punch before the evening's over, and I know it. Now, scoot upstairs, Leroy. The guests are arriving. Good evening, Bertie. Good evening, Judge. Evening, ma'am. Don't forget to wipe your feet, Judge. Oh, well, couldn't I stay and meet her? Well, just for a minute. But stay out of the punch. Oh, good evening, senorita. Welcome to our humble abode. Ah, oh, Mr. Gildersleeve. I kiss the stars in your honor. Is he kidding? <laughs> Hi, Judge. Hi. Take the lady's wrap, will you? Oh, yeah. everything looks so lovely. And this little man? Uh, this is my nephew, Leroy. Hi. Oh, so this is Leroy. The name is Leroy. Oh, I think he is cute. Yes. Say good evening, Miss Del Rey. Good evening, Miss Del Rey. <laughs> How well he obeys, like a little man. Yes. I'm sorry my niece can't be down this evening. Uh, she has a sore throat. Oh. Good evening, Leroy. Dolores, may I escort you to the punch bowl? Oh, I am very fond of punch. And on to the punch bowl. We may as well dive in before the others get here. Leroy. She, Unc, she's not bad. Uh, your uncle knows what he's doing. Hey, Unc, do you think they're real? Think what are real? The eyelashes. Yeah, that's a... <laughs> That's a silly question. Of course they're real. Hmm. That sundress she's wearing. Oh, yes, she has excellent taste. There's one thing I'd like to know. What holds it up? That does it. <laughs> Go to bed, Leroy. Go on. I'll go and help yourself to them sandwiches there, Judge, and help the lady. Got to eat them up. I'm coming. <laughs> she's been with us a long time. <laughs> Come right in. Oh, it must be Mrs. Vandervoort. Excuse me, Dolores. Uh, me too. Mrs. Vandervoort, old Dutch family, very important. Be right back. Don't go away. Oh, it's you, Judge. Good evening. Good evening, dear lady. Have I the pleasure of addressing Mrs. Vandervoort? You have. Allow me to do the honors. Mrs. Vandervoort, may I present my distinguished friend, Throckmorton Gildersleeve. How do you do? <laughs> I had my chauffeur park in your driveway. I hope he won't be in the way there. Oh, not in the slightest. Love to have him there. Um, a beastly weather, isn't it? Oh, just the usual Summerfield weather, I'm afraid. Uh, take the ladies' wraps, Judge. Uh, so good of you to come to our little soiree, Mrs. Vandervoort. Well, life in Summerfield is so dreary at best. I feel anything that can be done to raise the cultural level is worth the effort. Oh, how right you are. <laughs> I'd give a lot for a little culture right now. 
Uh, come, I'd like you to meet our guest of honor, Senorita Del Rey. I understand she's an exponent of the dance. Oh, yes, very talented, very artistic. What type of dancing does she specialize in? Oh, she does them all. Your rhythmic? No, she's Spanish, Spanish descent. <laughs> Senorita Del Rey, uh, meet Mrs. Vandervoort. Uh, she had the chauffeur park her limousine in the driveway. Oh, I'm most happy, madame. Mr. Gildersleeve tells me you dance. Oh, a little. <laughs> Just being modest. Her dancing will knock your eye out. Oh, please. Uh, she plays the piano, too, like a million dollars, and sings. Oh, how nice. Perhaps you'll play for us later. Mr. Gildersleeve failed to mention that he sings, too, and beautifully. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, perhaps you'll both sing. <laughs> Oh, uh, not just now, thank you. Oh, go on. I made a whole mess of them. <laughs> well, uh, just one, though I shouldn't. Oh, go on, Miss Vanderbilt. Grab a fistful. Ain't gonna be no good tomorrow. Uh, there's a bell again. I'm coming. <laughs> Been with us a long time. <laughs> that is a jewel. Commissioner at home? Yes, sir. Come right in. This is the place, honey. <laughs> it's the Munsons. Tell Floyd to watch his step. All right. Uh, you ladies, excuse me, please. The judge will see that you're supplied with punch. Well, hi, Commissioner. Uh, good evening, Floyd. Like to have you meet the ball and chain. <laughs> <laughs> Ruthie, shake hands with the Commissioner. <laughs> well, well, it's about time I met you. After all, I heard about you from stupid here. <laughs> 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 Ruthie's a great kidder uh, Quite a night out, isn't it? <laughs> great night for ducks <laughs> uh, You'd like to hang your coat up in the closet there, Mrs. Oh, Mus just chuck it down anyways I'm getting her a new one, so I hear I'll hang it up I'll hang it up just in case I know better than not on Big Mouth here <laughs> Great kidder yes. uh, Floyd, we've got a guest here Mrs. Vandervoort uh -huh. Very high class Watch it a little bit, will you? You don't have to worry about me, Commissioner. I wasn't brung up in no barn. <laughs> I know, Floyd, but uh, just mention it to your wife, too, will you? You don't have to worry about her, either. She'll be okay. I'll admit she tends to get a little excited in crowds. But if she gets out of line, I'll handle her. Great, great. Well, it was nice of you to ask us to your shindig, Mr. Gildersleeve. You know, I was saying to Floyd, I ain't had this dress out in four years. <laughs> Hey, where's all the people? Uh, oh, uh, I suspect they're in the dining room around the punch bowl. Punch bowl? Lead me to That's it. That's for me. Uh, this way, folks. Pushing your straight front, handsome. You're bulging again. Don, thing keeps popping out. For two cents, I'd take it off. Mrs. Vandervoort, like to present Mr. Munson. Uh, Mrs. Vandervoort had the, chauffeur, the chauffeur Parker limousine in the driveway. Yeah, I noticed it out there. That's quite a bus you got there, Mrs. Vanderlip. <laughs> What kind of mileage you get on it? I bet it eats up the gas, huh? I really couldn't say. Well, I drive an olds myself. It's no Cadillac, but then it's transportation, you know what I mean. Hey, don't I get to meet the lady? Oh. <laughs> uh, pardon me, Mrs. Vandervoort, Mrs. Munson. How do you do? Pleased to meet up with you. <laughs> say, who's the uh, little armful over there? Oh, and Miss Del Rey, uh, Dolores. Yes? Like to have you meet my friends, Mr. and Mrs. Munson. Any friend of Mr. Gildersleeve is a friend of mine. Say, that's all right. Uh, by the way, the commissioner's been telling me quite a lot about you. Oh, yes? Tell me what he says about me. Right here in public? You want me to get arrested? <laughs> <laughs> now, if you and me was to have a little private conversation, I might be able to... All right, Junior, keep your shirt on. <laughs> Uh, shall we go into the parlor? Oh, uh, Mr. Munson, Mr. Gildersleeve didn't tell me. What line of work are you in? Well, me? Oh, I got a... Uh, shall we go into the parlor? <laughs> well, I'm weary of the sea wind. I'm weary of the foam. And the little stars of Duna call me home. The little stars of Duna call me home. Hey, how's about Miss Del Rey giving us something Spanish? You know what I mean? Oh, 
Bésame mucho. Oh, brother. <laughs> Each time I cling to your kiss, I hear music divine. Oh, bésame mucho. <laughs> Hold me, my darling, and say that you'll always be mine. Boy, ain't she something. Well, you don't have to sit there giving her the eye. Who's giving her the eye? I gotta show my appreciation, don't I? I gotta at least be polite. You don't have to fall all over yourself about it. Who's falling all over myself? You, you big lug, I've been watching you. You've been after her all evening. Well, I like that. I never raised a finger. I leave it to anybody here if I've been in any ways out of line this evening. Uh, now, Floyd, please. I leave it to the lady herself. Uh, Floyd. This isn't the first time, Floyd Munson. Mrs. Munson, really, you must I've taken all I've got from him, the big baboon. I've gone home. All right, go on. Anything I hate, it's loudmouth James. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, folks Let her go I got the car keys <laughs> I think it's high time we all went home But, Mrs. Vanderbilt, it's only the shank of the evening You're not going to let a little family misunderstand you. I'm afraid the misunderstanding was mine, Mr. Gildersleeve From the beginning My rap thing Oh, gosh, well, if, if you won't change your mind I was sorry this had to happen, Mrs. Vanderbilt And so am I uh, Be careful watch, uh, backing Mrs. Vanderbilt out of the driveway Don't scratch it uh, good night, Mrs. B. Uh, well, let him go. At least now we can relax and have some fun. It's been a charming evening, Throckmorton. Uh, Judge Dolores, you're not going. The judge has kindly offered to see me home. Dolores, you can't do this to me. You can't go now. We're in this together. I'm sorry, Gildy, but we have Miss Del Rey's career to think of. What do you suppose I've been thinking of? Well, if you'd have used your head a little bit. Good night. Wait a minute. What are we going to do? We've got all this food here. <laughs> well... That's the thanks you get. Pass a little remark and right away everybody gets sore. Are you still here? Get out. Go on, get out. Now, Commissioner. Get out. Okay, I can take a hint. Not your fault, Floyd. By George, this is the last time I ever try to help anybody. Positively. <laughs> Why is it nothing ever works out? Well, let them go. All of them. Dolores, too. What do I care? After all, she's just another woman. What's a woman? Just a rag, a bone, and a hank of hair. Uh, a woman is only a woman, but a good cigar is a smoke. Uh, just settle down here and, he no cigars. <laughs> oh, well, if I had one, it would have gone out. <laughs> good night, everybody. This is the Armed Forces Radio Service.